Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to have a very brief video where we're going to show you the best way to restart your computer into BIOS or setup. And you might ask, well, that's easy, right? You just restart your computer and you hit the right key at the right time and it should start into BIOS. Well, yes, but if you work on multiple computers, if you have experience working on computers, you know it can be a bit of a pain. And one of the pains is what you see here. I've got a list of some of the keys you have to hit for the different manufacturers and models in order to get into startup or BIOS. Um, some are F2, Delete, F2, F12, F10 for HP, F1 for Lenovo. So you can see it can get really kind of complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you two different methods to set it up so it almost certainly will restart into BIOS or setup and you don't have to worry about any of this. And the first method we're going to use is a simple shortcut where you can just make a new shortcut on your desktop or wherever and double click on the shortcut and it will restart into BIOS. The second method is going to be where you can write a very simple application like in C Sharp, Windows Forms, where you have a little UI with a button that will automatically do the same thing and restart into setup or BIOS. And then you can add stuff to it if you want. And we did a video recently about how to run command line commands in C Sharp. So I encourage you to look at that. So let's take a look at how we can set up a, a simple shortcut or write a very simple application to do this. Now keep in mind there's two things going on here. One is a startup menu and the other is a BIOS settings interface. And the startup is kind of a general startup where you can select either system information, system diagnostics, boot device, BIOS setup, system recovery, that kind of thing, depending on the BIOS. But here's just an example. And then a BIOS user interface you see here on the right, which is if in this case, if you hit F10, you go into BIOS. So what we're going to show you is a way to, in general, boot to this startup menu so that you can then select BIOS. Not always the case, but in general, it should give you that. So again, the problems are some computers go through power on self-tests or post so quickly there's no time to hit a key if you even know what the key is. Also, some desktops won't recognize input from your USB keyboard until after you've done the power on self-test. There's a bunch of things going on here which make it even more important that you figure out how to do this simple shortcut to do the um, restart. So how do you do it? Well, if the firmware supports it, you can use the Windows shutdown command as a script or command line. However, you must run it as administrator. And that's very, very important. And it's a very simple command line command that is shutdown with a slash R, a slash FW, and you can also add a slash T. And in this case, we've got a zero. So what do these mean? Well, the slash R tells it to restart. So it's not just to turn off your computer, but it restarts. The FW says go to firmware, and that's what tells it to go to the startup or the BIOS. Now again, very old firmware may not support this, this FW. The slash T and zero tells it how long it should time out before it restarts. So you can give it a delay. As we said before, sometimes it has no delay and it goes really, really fast, so you can't hit any buttons. So this just tells you there is an option where you can set that timeout delay. You can set it to like five seconds and it restarts. It'll wait five seconds. So that's all you have to do. You just have to run this command line and you can run it as a shortcut or in an application. So to make a script, a simple shortcut where you just have an icon and you double click on the icon and it restarts, what you do is on the desktop, you right click and select new shortcut. In the type the location of the item, enter the shutdown slash R slash FW and if you want the slash T in a time. And then hit next and then type in a name for the shortcut and then finish. And then you're going to have to run it as administrator so you can right click on the shortcut that you generated, click advance, then select run as administrator and we'll show you how to do this. And then you hit apply and then OK. And that should set up an icon on your desktop that you just double click and it will restart into setup or BIOS. So let's see how we can do that. We're in the desktop. We can right click new shortcut shutdown slash R slash FW slash T 
zero, and we can hit next and type a name, restart to BIOS, click finish. And here we have our shortcut that we can just double click and restart. And keep in mind, you can just copy this shortcut to like a USB thumb drive and move it to other computers and use it to restart the BIOS on those computers. Now, there's another way, and we talked about that in another video when we're talking about how to run command line commands in your C Sharp uh, Windows Forms application. And I'll go through that really briefly here. You can have, for example, we've got a form with a button called Restart to BIOS. And we want it so that when we click this button, it does a restart into BIOS or setup. So all we need is to add system diagnostics to a blank Windows Forms application. And what I've got is a string file name with the shutdown.exe and then the arguments, which is slash r slash fw slash t and whatever time you want it to wait. And this system diagnostics is going to allow you to run this process.start where you feed it the file name string, comma, the arguments. And when you press the button, it's going to do this process.start and run this command. Again, we did a video on how to run these command line commands using um, process.start in your Windows Forms application. So very straightforward. Now you can look at the shutdown command and look at other options, but this is just how to restart into setup for BIOS. So that's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.